Here is a triangle whose sides measure 13, 14, and 15, with an inscribed circle. What is the area of the circle? For solving for the area of the circle, firstly, we have to consider to solve for its radius. Okay, radius. How shall we do that? Now, find the midpoint of the circle, or the center of the circle. It is here. Then, what shall we do? Of course, I like to do this. There are six special points here. One, two, three, four, five, six. These three points of the triangle. Connect them with the center. Now, I'd like to express the area of the big triangle with the radius of the circle. Actually, R. Of course, the area of the big triangle is the sum of the areas of these three small triangles. So we should firstly express the areas of these three small triangles. Now, we have three points left, and they're also very special. Then, connect them to our midpoint. Then, here are, of course, right angles because this is a theorem if we have a circle with a tangent line connect a center to this tangent point this angle will be 90 degrees will be a right angle so now how shall we express the area of the big triangle note the radius is r so these three purple or pink line segments will be r then we know the area of the big triangle is the sum of the areas of these three small triangles. And each of them can be solved easily and rapidly. So now the area is going to be, look, the area of this small triangle, it is 1 over 2 times r, then times 13. Plus, the area of this small triangle, it is 1 over 2 times r times 14. Then plus, the area of this small triangle, 1 over 2 times r times 15. Now, Simplify, please. 1 over 2 times r times 13. 1 over 2 times r times 14. 1 over 2 times r times 15. Okay, common factor. Come. 1 over 2 times r. Then, in the bracket, the sum of 13 and 14 and 15. Work it out. 13 plus 14 plus 15. Its value is 42. So here is 42. If here is 42, here we have times 1 over 2. So it's going to be 21 times r. So the area is 21 times r. But we want to evaluate R. How shall I work out R? That's the problem. Now, please try to express the area of the big triangle in another way. In this way. The Helen's formula. Have you ever heard about it? Of course. It is very easy. If we note that S is equal to half of the perimeter of the triangle, then the area of the triangle will be equal to square root of s times s minus the first side, then times s minus the second side, then times s minus the third side. That means in this situation, you know this problem, a is 13, b is 14, c is 15. P 
is of course 13 plus 14 plus 15 is 42. We've already calculated it. So it is 21. So that means this is going to be the square root of 21 times 21 minus 13 is 8 times 21 minus 14 is 7 times 21 minus 15 is 6. And the answer is going to be 84. So that means the area of the big triangle is 21R. It is also equal to 84. So 21R and 84R both equal to the area of the big triangle. That means the equality is the area of the big triangle and we can get an equation. This equation is 21R equals 84. Oh! R is 4. So the radius of the circle is 4. Then, so the area of the circle can be easily solved. The area of the circle is pi times r squared. So the final answer is going to be 16 pi. Do you get it? Give a thumbs up for the one more trick. Only 5% people will subscribe to me. Are you one of the 5%? We'll see you next time.